Hello guys, it's me Simu Urahara and in this video we'll talk about the world of hell and does it have a king like Ryo or not? But before that guys, don't forget to put some of your yatsu in this video either by clicking like or leaving a comment to discuss the topic of this video and if you have a stronger yatsu you can become a member in my channel or through Patreon and this is a good chance to thank again all the members of my supporting squad either in YouTube or Patreon Thank you guys so much. So guys, in order to talk about this topic, we must start from a specific question, which is why there is a talk about the existence of a king of the world of hell in the first place? Isn't Ryu the king of all the worlds? So why some fans talk about the possibility of the existence of such king? In fact, I think the reason why many people go in this direction is because of the way the worlds of Bleach were built and how Kubo dealt with these worlds and who rules them throughout the story. For example, when we talk about Ryu, in all the events in which it was talked about, he was only linked to the world of the soul Saichi, the world of Levin and Wikumundo. And even in the last flashback when Ichibi wanted to talk about Ryu, he only mentioned the words that I have just mentioned. In other words, it might appear that Ryu, for some reason, has no connection to the world of hell. Taken into consideration, Ryu was basically chosen by the nobles to be like a battery for those three worlds, so that his presence was to be a cornerstone and nothing else. Meaning that the politics of the worlds and how they are led, Ryu has no involvement in it, but rather it's a several groups that do this job, such as the Nobles, the Zero Squad, and the Gotei 13. Meaning that even if we consider Ryu is a king, he is not a real king because he doesn't rule. But at the same time, he is the linchpin of the worlds, and that is because of his power. Conversely, for example, if we turn to Wikomondo, we will find that Baragan for a long time was considered the king of Wikomondo. And unlike Ryu, he was a person who had the ability to act as he wanted, and he imposed a complete control over the world of Wikomondo. But despite this, he didn't have enough power to reach Ryu's level in terms of power. I mean, for example, Baragan is not the basis of the world of Wikomondo. I mean, we can't say that without him the world will collapse. None of that. He's just a hollow who was strong and managed to, to rule the Wikomondo for a period of time. For all of this, when we talk about the idea of the existence of a king of hell, we must talk about how this king could be. Is it only one person who rules hell? Like some characters that exist both in the Japanese and Greek mythology. For example, Enma is considered the ruler of the underworld. And Hades, the same thing in the Greek mythology. And therefore, some see it like this, that is a ruler and he is responsible for what is happening there. But in my personal opinion, I don't think so. I don't see it like uh, one particular person who has absolute control over this. I see the matter from the perspective that is a group of people who control that world. I mean, for example, the Royal Palace had a zero squad that protected it. And the Soul Society, there is the Shinigami who monitor the world and the world of the living, and they keep as much as possible the hollow within the Wikomondo or purify them. That's why I think that in the world of hell, there is some groups that rule it. The foundation of this organization will be formed by the unknown noble family, who proposed this idea of covering the pitch that existed in the ancient world and later became hell. Therefore, the world of hell in Bleach can be somewhat complex in terms of structure. For example, the world may be made up of judges and guardians of hell. Because when I was searching for this topic, I found this paragraph about Enma, who we said is considered the ruler of the hell in Buddhism. He was also said to be the head of a group of 13 judges, which happened to be the same number of the Gote 13 captions. And so I came up with this idea. What if the captains who go to hell are assigned either guardians of hell or a judge in the hell? For example, the judge is the one who determines which level the sinner will go to, while the guardians are the ones who ensure that the sinners do not leave that world. In the movie, it was said that the guards were the Kushinada or something like that, but as Kobo stated, the story of the film is separate from the events of the one-shot. Therefore, what I believe is that the world of the hell will consist of several divisions between judges and guardians. Because the hell will most likely be made up of several liars, like the one in the movie, but it will be in different form. It is possible that each liar will have its own guards, 
then this depends on the level of the sinners that are found there, I mean in terms of power. It is possible that the judges are like those in the soul society, that is, they are nobles, and this makes me consider the possibility that some members of the unknown family are the ones who hold in this job. As for the captains coming from the soul society who were exposed to Consoresai, they are the ones who occupy the role of Kushinada that we saw in the fourth movie. Therefore, I believe that the existence of judges and not one judge is what I call the king of hell, meaning I don't believe that there is one person who rules hell, but rather a group that supervises that world and sets its laws. And there is one more thing I would like to talk about is if we say that Ryu is the linchpin of the three worlds. He is the one who kept those worlds stable. So what is the power that keeps the world of, of the hell stable? In my personal opinion, there are two things that mix the world of hell as it is. The first thing is the presence of a certain power. Either Ryu's legs, which appeared in the flashback, were completely cut off meaning that those legs are what contribute to keeping the world of hell exists, or there is something like Hogyoku that plays this role. The second thing is Ryatsu, because the role of the Ryatsu, as we saw in the one shot, is to keep the gates of hell closed. So what we saw is that when the Ryatsu in the world of living, the soul society, and maybe we commando, especially the soul society are greater than the ones that is found in the hell world, then the doors will stay closed. So in the end, as you can see, the world of hell can be expanded greatly by Kubo if he wants that. So he can do a long arc if he wants filled with a huge amount of new things that we didn't know before about this world. Among of them is who control it and do they have a relationship with the Shinigami or not. So I think, as I said, the world of hell will have many characters, new characters, maybe old ones that we didn't know before. Some of them is from the Guilty 13, the original one, or the ones who came after them, maybe some new characters that we didn't see before from the noble families, or some Shinigamis, or some Holos, etc. I mean, Kubo had literally a treasure between his hands. I hope he will find the good way where, where he can present it without harming his health, and also keep uh, producing chapters in a regularly way. Because we have to keep in mind that Kubo is not Kubo that started Bleach when he was young and full of energy. The man had struggled with illness in the last years of the Quincy arc. That's why the best way is publishing a bunch of chapters every year. So guys, what do you think about what I have said? Do you have other theories about the King of Hell? Is there a one or a bunch of people like I have said? Tell me in the comments and see you guys in my next video.